symbiosis biology teacher hello children welcome to symbiosis ap and ta syllabus this is a new channel for andhra pradesh and telangana state board syllabus in this channel you will have videos of biological sciences for classes 8 to 10 video we are going to see first chapter that is nutrition what is the first chapter nutrition nutrition the food supplying system okay so here first let us see what is nutrition okay what is nutrition nutrition is a process by which living organisms obtain the food the living organisms whatever the food they take in digest it utilize it so the whole process is called as nutrition okay now let us see the modes of nutrition okay right modes of nutrition nutrition means the process by which the living organisms obtain food okay but the way they obtain the food is different in different types of organisms all the organisms will not take the food in the same manner so here we broadly classified nutrition into two types so what are they let us see they are autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition okay so the two types of nutrition are autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition now let us see autotrophic nutrition okay what is autotrophic nutrition the nutrition in which the living organisms obtain the food by themselves they don't depend on any others instead they prepare their own food by a process called as photosynthesis so here in this autotrophic nutrition the organisms will prepare their own food not only they prepare their own food but they prepare the food for other organisms also okay so autotrophic nutrition means the nutrition in which the organisms prepare their own food by a process called as photosynthesis right so here autotrophic nutrition definition we have seen but who are those organisms which are performing autotrophic nutrition so the organisms that perform autotrophic nutrition are called as autotrophs right autotrophic nutrition is the type of nutrition so whoever is performing that type of nutrition that organisms are called as autotrophs okay auto trophs self feeding or those organisms which will prepare their own food okay children now let us go to the definition of photosynthesis right <clears throat> what is photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process by which autotrophs prepare their own food by utilizing carbon dioxide water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and ultimately they produce two types of substances one is the food material and the other is oxygen here the food material is nothing but carbohydrate nothing but glucose okay now let us see photosynthesis 
equation given by C. B. Van Neel. Okay. So here C. B. Van Neel's photosynthesis equation is. Okay, so this is the equation given by C. B. Van Neel. That is carbon dioxide plus water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives carbohydrate plus water and oxygen. So plants what they take carbon dioxide and water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives what is this? carbohydrate and it is also giving out water and oxygen but here two molecules of water two molecules of water so here uh, two carbon I mean one carbon and one carbon two oxygens and two oxygens four oxygens here one oxygen two oxygens and two more oxygens four oxygens balanced and the hydrogens two to the four hydrogens and uh, here two hydrogens here two hydrogens balanced and carbon is one and one here already we discussed no okay so this is the equation given by cb van neel when in 1931 but this is not the first equation which he has given before giving this equation cb van neel has tested purple sulfur bacteria okay purple sulfur bacteria so there in purple sulfur bacteria what he observed is instead of water the purple sulfur bacteria used hydrogen sulfide carbon dioxide plus H2S gives in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives carbohydrate and it is sulfur which sulfur which is in elemental form elemental sulfur okay so this process whatever the equation I wrote here this he observed in bacteria this one he observed in plants this he observed in plants in the year 1931 before that first he tested purple sulfur bacteria that equation I have written here so this is in purple sulfur bacteria right children so here CB van Neel has given this equation first he has tested on this purple sulfur bacteria later he updated and he I mean he has seen in the plants and then he gave this equation okay now let us see one more equation for photosynthesis okay okay children yeah okay I carried over this uh, C. B. Van Neel's photosynthesis equation here uh, so that you can compare with other equations also right okay we have seen C. B. Van Neel's equation that is carbon dioxide plus two molecules of water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives C H 2 O that is carbohydrate and H 2 O that is water and oxygen okay now later one scientist named robert hill his name is robert hill so he has given a balanced equation 
for photosynthesis an updated equation for photosynthesis now let us see what is that equation Okay, this is the equation, a balanced equation given by Robert Hill. Okay, so according to this, six carbon dioxide molecules with 12 water molecules in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll were utilized by plants and what they are giving? one molecule of glucose that is C6H12O6 and six molecules of water and six molecules of oxygen okay so here 6 CO2 plus 12 H2O in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives C6H12O6 plus 6 H2O plus 6 O2 so this is the equation for photosynthesis but this is the original and uh, real equation so this is real but there is one more equation which we are using so it is just a virtual equation so what is that virtual equation let me write here <coughs> okay now let us see so this is the real one which is given by Robert Hill but nowadays we are even using this equation also don't get confused with this two equations okay this same equation can be represented in this form also okay I am writing R so here there is a slight difference between this equation in this equation 12 water molecules are there so here 12 water molecules are there but in this equation only 6 water molecules are there in this upper equation you got water as a product also but here no water so what is this confusion I will clear your confusion now so here the plants were taking 12 molecules of water in this process that is photosynthesis process the plants are taking 12 water molecules and giving out 6 water molecules plants were taking 12 water molecules and giving out 6 water molecules that means how many water molecules they might have used out of 12 water molecules they used only six water molecules and given out six water molecules again so instead of saying plants are taking 12 water molecules and giving six water molecules simply we can say that they are just taking six water molecules okay so there is no confusion children six carbon dioxide molecules were taken by plants along with six water molecules in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and gives glucose molecule and releases oxygen that's all okay so this is the equation for photosynthesis in exams you may get a question write a balanced equation for photosynthesis okay so don't get confused this you can write okay this one is the real equation given by robert hill so in examinations you better write this equation only okay for your better understanding i have given this equation okay so don't get confused now we have seen photosynthesis is a process by which plants what are the other organisms what are autotrophs actually so here i will give you examples of autotrophs plants algae photosynthetic bacteria all these are examples for autotrophs okay 
so here let me tell you plants actually they are preparing their own food not only they are preparing their own food they are preparing the food for others also but what type of food they are producing here they are producing glucose so here the ultimate food which they produce is glucose later what these plants do this glucose they are converted to other forms like starch okay they are converted into starch starch is a complex carbohydrate glucose is a simple carbohydrate okay so glucose is a small unit several glucose units together club to form a complex substance and that is starch even cellulose also is a type of carbohydrate that is also complex uh, i mean complex carbohydrate only okay so not only this starch and cellulose starch and cellulose both are carbohydrates so plants not only produce carbohydrates but they also produce other compounds as well like uh, proteins okay they even produce other than carbohydrates they even produce proteins and uh, fats also proteins and fats also they can produce produce in sense whatever the starch or uh, the carbohydrate is there that they will convert into proteins or fats but animals animals cannot get carbohydrates from other animals animals can get carbohydrates only from plants animals can get fats and proteins from other animals also so i mean to say here plants can only produce carbohydrates animal cannot produce carbohydrates whereas proteins and fats plants can produce and animals also can produce okay children right so i hope children that you have understood these topics for more videos please subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon for notifications and please like my videos share my videos and comment on my videos okay thank you very much